trapped how many people right up here for how many days? Two and a half days, two days, right? It has to move out of that zone to hit the stop losses. Where are retail traders gonna have their stop losses? Right down here. Why? Because this is below a major support, apparently. Right down here, once again, because it's below a major support, apparently. And right down here, below here. Because why? Because it's below a major support again. So where would we place our take profit levels? We would take our place our take profit levels under those major support levels. This would be take profit. I wouldn't do this as take profit one. I would do a probably about a 80 pip take profit one. Not sure how many pips that is actually. Uh, yeah, that's about an 80 pip take profit. Next would be right down here because it's below, once again, a major support. And see how these supports are broken so easily? It's like they're not even there. Why do they do this so fast? Because if you were buying anywhere in here and you just see these big fat red candles come out of nowhere, you're going to get emotional. You're going to go crazy. Because why? Because let's say you bought right here. You bought in here. You, you had a, a great, a perfect entry in your opportunity, in your, in your mind, right? You follow the trend and then in two days, it wipes out everything you had in the previous week. Next would be right here. That's the next tape profit zone. Why would that be the next take profit zone? Because you can see that's where price reacted. That's where price had one of those major support or perceived support and resistance zones. All right, all right. Let me check out Euro JPY. This was actually in May, April, May, start of May, June. We had three weeks in a row that were like absolutely perfect. Let me see if I can identify. Okay, this would be Sunday, Monday. Why would it be Sunday, Monday? Because this is a gap. So we know that is the opening of the market to be Friday, to be Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, All right, here it is. What do we see here? What is this considered? What do we call this in the Forexia family? What, what would this be right here, you guys? Sunday, Monday. Let me know if you guys can 
uh, answer this in the chat. Alan Page, yes, yes, yes. However, wasn't actually what I was referring to. Nomad, yes. However, not what I'm referring to. Johan, yes. Randy, yes. Shelton, yes. Yes. It is the induction where they induce retail traders to sell. You know, going with the previous trend, the previous week's trend, you see major downtrend here. In macro, and then we see a little micro downtrend as well. This is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> yes, that is correct. The WTF trend, that's what we call it, the WTF. Why? Because that's what retail traders say to themselves after they realize they're completely screwed after they see this candle. <laughs> what a massive candle. So this is what we know as the induction trend. Now, this is funny. The previous, you know, the previous week, the previous, what we previously looked at, marked up, was Sunday as well. And it was a very choppy, you know, the characteristic of Sunday, Monday is the consolidation. You know, who would, who would even want to trade that? But it ha it's for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Everything in the market happens for a reason as well. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, look at this perfect trend. As if you could just sell right here and make money. That's what they want. That's what they want you to believe. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday is what we call the induction trend, where they induce, they continue with the, a lot of times with the previous trend, they just continue off of Friday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you know, continue that induction, whichever way they're going in the market, either up or down, either bullish or bearish. In this case, a very bearish trend for three consecutive days and then right or actually a lot more than three consecutive days but sunday monday tuesday is a perfect three consecutive day trend right here you know you can't miss that trend how many retail traders were selling right in here right in here you know because because why because price is at that level well, that's what they're taught to do, to sell right in there. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, if we looked at this and we were looking for an entry, we look for an entry on either Wednesday or Thursday. Sometimes Tuesday off of the high or the low of Sunday, Monday. However, in this case, didn't really present that opportunity. In when, Wednesday, however, let's look at these candlesticks. When did this occur? When did price break out of its consolidation, so to say, or give its induction? And where would that induction be? Well, this right here is Asian session consolidation. And this would be considered that breakout. The induction. Now, we don't just go off of that, right? We got to understand the timing as well. So, 
Previously, we said 10 hours in is exactly London session. What is the next, after, after five hours, after London session comes New York session? Exactly. So in New York session, what is another characteristic of New York session? London session may be the breakout. New York session, a lot of times, is the reversal. Exactly, Biju. Thank you, man. All right, we see the reversal right here, clear as day, right? Right here. So this happens exactly 15 hours after the, this black line here. So we take our measurement tool and we draw 15 hours out. And this is exactly, this candlestick is created exactly at the opening of New York session. What do you know? So if you don't trade New York session, if you didn't get in there, they gave you another opportunity the next day. Once again, perfect Asian consolidation. And right here is exactly New York session. Once again, and we can see that W formation off the low of the day. That second leg coming in New York session. And a complete reversal afterwards to complete that Thursday reversal or midweek scenario. Joseph asks which time frame we plot liquidity region. Um, I would suggest, you know, any time frame is good. I would suggest one hour, 15 minute or four hour or the daily time frame as well. You know, it's good to have a a macro perspective and plot, for example, in these zones where price reacts, plot that line there. Why? Not because you're going to use it for support and resistance, not because you're just, just going to buy or sell according to whatever price does to this line. No, because you're going to put yourselves in the retail trader world into the shoes of the retail trader and say, okay, if I was a retail trader here using dumb money tactics, using the BS that all these retail traders are taught to use, how would I take my trade? And understanding that, using that, you'll understand exactly how the market operates. Because that's, that's all it is. It's dumb money versus smart money. Here we have Friday once again. The end of the week. Actually, this was a beautiful signature trade coming Friday. Now, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We don't really trade Friday. I personally don't. I personally don't really trade Sunday money either. And I'll trade Tuesday if it's working off the highs or lows of Sunday, Monday with the correct structure. However, what I like to do is wait 
for Wednesday, Thursday for that midweek reversal or Tuesday for that Tuesday reversal. Now, in this case, we have a major downtrend. After three and a half to four days of, of consecutive uh, downtrending market, you know, the bears basically took over. But what's important here is that it's becoming obvious, right? And not only is it becoming obvious, but it's becoming obvious at a certain time, right? It's not becoming obvious Friday. It didn't even start Friday. It didn't become obvious Sunday, Monday that it was a downtrend. It didn't even really become obvious Tuesday that it was a downtrend. Until we see this move here. And we can see the two and a half to three days of market moving to the downside. Now, there was really no opportunities to get in here. You know, a, re a rejection off the trend line for retail traders or something like that. However, we can see that the trend has become obvious. And when did it become obvious? Just so happens that, what do you know, it's Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, an obvious downtrend. What are, what are the characteristics of this? Yes, market's creating lower lows and lower highs. And that induction trend. Now come Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's when that reversal happens. That's when we can expect that reversal. Not all the time. However, judging market structure, that's how we tell whether the market will reverse or not. On a 15 minute time frame, it looks a little bit messy. On the one hour time frame, let's see how it looks. Looks a little bit better. All right, let me go over. I think we have about like eight sesh, eight minutes left. So let me show you guys the one, one of the last things that I wanted to show you guys. Identify patterns in the market that can predict specific outcomes with major accuracy. What I'm going to show you guys is is something that happens on micro and macro because that's what I promised I would show you guys micro and macro as well the perspectives perspectives of it so what I'm going to show you guys is right here let's just say this is Asian session Asian session consolidation London session breakout and then comes New York session reversal off the low to end the day in consolidation. You guys can see how mac micro and macro apply. This same structure that we just see, just seen here on your JPY one hour time frame, looking at the macro, you know, this was three weeks. Two and a half to three weeks here. What is this? Can somebody tell me what this is? What this structure is and where we see it? Not just here, not just in macro. Yes, Wesley, it is a whipsaw. However, it is also Matthias. Yes, daily structure. Yo and yes. Hegelian dialectic as well. Oh man.
what I wanted to show you guys was on Euro USD. I'm going to draw two rectangles. These two rectangles represent the Asian session consolidation. And these two lines represent a 24 hour period. Now, Asian session consists of mostly consolidation. Then comes the breakout of London and the reversal of New York to end the day in consolidation. So let's say, you know, I, I know you guys have seen me do this before. We just copy and paste this. This is how a trend is created. If you guys didn't know that, you got, if there's anyone new here, this is how a trend is created. And it takes three days to create a trend. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, that's the induction trend. But why I'm showing you this is because this is a pattern that has different variations. It's the same characteristics, right, of consolidation, breakout, induction, reversal, yet it has so many different variations. Sometimes it'll break out to the low. Sometimes it'll look different than other days, but that's their job. Because after all, if the market did the same structure every single day, the same variation, everyone, everyone would understand it. Everyone would be able to see it. Now I'm gonna show you guys something that not everyone is able to see because they don't understand market structure. I'm gonna show you this exact same pattern here. And I'm gonna be able to copy and paste it over and over and over. Because the market literally does the same thing over and over and over. However, just different variations. So we have this variation right here. Now the opposite of this variation would be a breakout to the downside and move to the upside. So we're gonna use that as well. Be something like this, consolidation, breakout to the downside, and then move up. Consolidation, okay. Ta-da! And there you have it. That is a trend, right? And that's how they create the trend. It's that easy, you guys. Understanding, okay, this is Asian session. This would be London session breakout. And this would be New York session reversal to end the day in consolidation for Asian session once again to start that entire cycle over again. Now, you can stretch it out a little bit. Here it is once again. Now, here is the same pattern, just inverse. You can see it right here. Consolidation, break out to the downside. There it is. And how many times does this happen over and over again?
Why is this happening? Because the market has a certain way to make a trend. The, a trend doesn't just come out of nothing, right? It's not like evolution. <laughs> okay, it's not like a trend can just be made out of nothing. It's not like the market can just go crazy and a trend will be made. In a sense, it can. I mean, if you don't understand the market at all, I'm sure that's how you see it. However, if you understand market structure, you understand the sessions, you understand the timing, you'll understand that, okay, there is a way that a trend is made. There's this underlying structure behind it, and this is it. And it's not going to be like this every single time. However, the characteristic, the basis is the same. It's the same characteristics. Maybe it's a different variation, just like this. This is, the same, this is a, a completely different variation. However, it's the exact same concept. All right, you guys, hopefully you did enjoy the session. Let me know in the chat if you, if you enjoyed, you'd like to see some more. I do plan on doing a lot more live streams. I don't even know when the next live stream is. I think it's like, like two days or so. But feel free to go to forexia.net slash public live, public dash live dash streams. And here you can see all the upcoming streams that we have. This one is June 25th, 2020. I don't know. I don't know if you guys could see that, but yes, June 25th, 20, 2020, in just a few days, we have another live stream at 10.30 a.m. So if you guys did enjoy this one, uh, this will not be uploaded to the Academy. Well, it may be uploaded to the Academy, but I was thinking about uploading it to, to YouTube. Um, so if you guys did enjoy, say hello to YouTube as well. And yes, that's basically it for it for today, you guys. Until the next one, like I said, we have a next another public live stream on June 25th at 10:30 a.m. and at forexia.net slash public dash live dash streams, you can see a lot more of the scheduled content. So thank you guys once again for tuning in. Love and respect to you as well, Johan. Thank you guys. Until the next one, have a great rest of your day. Peace out, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.